Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to learn Polygon Lasso tool in Adobe Photoshop. So friends, Polygonal Lasso tool is a useful for making a straight edge selection. You now, in the toolbox, you can see here a Polygonal Lasso tool. By pressing a long press on Lasso tool, you can see a three Lasso tool over here. Normal Lasso tool, Polygonal Lasso tool and a Magnetic Lasso tool. Now friend, Polygonal Lasso tool is another of its basic selection tool in Adobe Photoshop. It is a bit like a cross between the Rectangular Marquee tool and a Standard Lasso tool, both of which we already looked in our previous video. So the Polygonal Lasso tool let us draw as many sizes as we want. So let's see how to use a Polygonal Lasso tool. So first of all, by pressing L, you can activate your Polygonal Lasso tool or a Lasso tool. For example, right now I am in Move tool. Now if I want to activate my Lasso tool, then just press L in your keyboard. Then as you can see, it select and Lasso tool. For example, right now I am in a standard lasso tool. If I want to choose a different lasso tool, then just press shift and L from your keyboard. And as you can see, you can switch from a different lasso tool. For right now, I am in lasso tool. Now I am in polygonal lasso tool. And now I am in magnetic lasso tool. So keyboard shortcut is very important to do a quick work in Adobe Photoshop. So friends, first we are going to create one new document where I am going to show you how we can use a polygonal lasso tool and all these properties of a polygonal lasso tool. So first of all, I am just creating one new document. Okay, just give a name. Polygonal lasso tool. Fine and uh, everything is fine. Press OK. So now my new document is created. Now we are going to see what is the property and how to use a polygonal lasso tool so just select a polygonal lasso tool so friends it start by clicking somewhere along the edge of any object of area you need to select you just need to click somewhere in your document okay then release your mouse button as i'm release your mouse button like this once you move the polygonal lasso tool away from the point you will see the thin straight line expanding from that mouse pointer it look like a spider wearing a web now with the other end of the line attached to the anchor point click again for example right now i am clicking over here so like this continue around the object or a area okay click to add a new point anywhere you want like this you can create a different different points now unlike the standard lasso tool as well as many of the photoshop other selection tools where no need to keep your mouse button held down you can just click and you can release your mouse button from here okay so simply click to add a point release your mouse button move to the next point where the line needs to change the direction then click to add a new point like this okay now guys how you can end this selections now friends once you done your selections around the object or area complete the selection by clicking once again on the start point you added for example my start point is here so as you can see once i go to my start point my mouse pointer will be changed it show you it is a ended okay just click here and my selection will be done okay so guys like this you can create a polygonal lasso tool selection now friends you can question that what happen if we are not ended on the state start point so friends i'm show you what to do in that case so friends i'm just select a polygonal lasso tool so friends you can also close a selection simply by double click anywhere with the polygonal lasso tool like this and Photoshop will automatically close the selection with a straight line from the point you clicked and on the initial start point like this. Okay, it will be same like a lasso tool. So friends, now we are going to see some practical examples. We have some footage. Okay, we are going to work on this footage and making some examples. For example, right now I have this footage. Okay, what we are going to do, we are just crop this frame and you can add anything you want here fine so what i am doing i am just selecting my polygonal lasso tool okay and i am just selecting this edge like this just press shift so you can just move your document like this okay so 
so friends my selection is done but as you can see here is the finger is cutting so what I am doing now we have to learn how we can use a multiple tool in Adobe Photoshop now what we can do for polygonal lasso tool it is not possible to select this finger properly so we are just selecting this lasso tool and we are going to use the subtract because we want to subtract this selection so what we can do we are just zoom properly we are going to subtract these fingers so do a carefully so now we are going to use a two tools first is lasso tool and second is polygonal lasso tool okay guys as you can see like this we can subtract or add any selections as you can see here is some more selection we want to remove this okay so just use like this you can remove this so friends just for the example I did this you can do a properly when you are practice yourself okay now my selection is done first of all I am just unlock this my layer and you can delete it or you can replace any object over here for example I am just delete this object and now you can add anything you want for example instead of we are closed again we can add anything we are open again I am just adding one more layer over here and uh, make the color different for example this color fine so my color is applied over here and now we can just add anything for example you can also add text okay p o l y polygonal lasso tool so guys like this you can do anything in adobe photoshop so this text tool and other tools we are going to learn uh, in our upcoming videos for just for this practice i will show you how you can replace that uh, footage with a different object or a photo or any text so for now i'm just selecting this i'm just adjusting the area and just making a little bit of good so So friends like this you can replace anything you want for example the original footage is like this first we are just uh, select this area with the polygonal lasso tool and then we can add any object or text over here so friends this is our first example where we use a polygonal lasso tool now we are going to our next example okay here is an another footage here we are going to remove this window and then we replace a another footage so first we zoom over here fine so we can select a properly now we can select our polygonal lasso tool and start selecting this window now if you are going to select another then our previous selection is gone so for that we need to see a property of polygonal lasso tool which is over here it is the same as a lasso tool like if you click here the new selection will come if you select this then you can add a new selection if you select this then it will subtract from the selection and it will be intersect with the selection so now we want to add a new selection so we are just selecting this add to selection so that our previous selection will be also there so friends now we are just selecting an another window okay like this fine so once you are already selected this icon then you no need to select again and again okay third one is already done now i'm going to select the last one so friends as you can see i'm already selected this four window now I'm just unlock this footage you can also delete this and in future you can add anything you want or else I'm just replace this footage with another for now I'm just deleting this one okay now if you want to deselect this selection then you can use a control plus D from the keyboard then it will be deselected so guys as you can see we already removed this window now we can add anything we want from this footage I'm just drag and drop this footage to our window view 
like this but as you can see it is a layer panel so it will be come on front automatically so we need to drop down to a lower layer so just adjusting this layer and as you can see our work is done so friends like this you can do a photoshop very nicely so we are just removing that background and we can use this so friends as you can see this is our original footage whereas the background is a sea background and now we make a snow background in our latest footage so like this you can use a multiple use of different different tools so in this video we used a two tools first is a standard lasso tools we already used in our previous video and also we use a polygonal lasso tool so friends thank you so much in our next video we are going to learn a magnetic lasso tool Thank you so much guys.